there, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astrologist, and welcome to Star Codes. This is the podcast where we look at an upcoming event to see how the energies in the planets, in the celestial realms, in the numerology and astrology impact us so we can be prepared and deal with the energies in the most high vibrational way possible. So today we have a very big topic. We are going to look at the lunar nodes, the north node and south node of the moon, changing signs. And these nodes tend to change from one sign, or they're actually in opposite signs, from from one sign to the next every 18 months or so, so every year and a half. So when there is a shift, we really do feel it. And in this case, they're moving from Taurus, where the north node is currently, up until July 17th to Aries and from Scorpio where the south node is currently to Libra and Aries and Libra are very important signs in that they are cardinal signs which means they begin a season they're all about action and at the moment that these lunar nodes actually shift into Aries and Libra there is a new moon in Cancer, another cardinal sign. And then there's a, the fourth cardinal sign, there are four, is also activated. And I'll get that to that in a moment because it's really extraordinary. It creates a real message here about new beginnings. Remember all these four signs begin the seasons and also action. So, arising within us is the sense of something trying something brand new putting it into play and doing so with a lot of confidence and the reason we have so much confidence and feel very much empowered is that the nodes shift on july 17th and that's the same day as the cancer new moon 17 is the immortality number. That's the name I give it because 17 is about leaving a legacy behind. It is about leadership, having a big vision, doing something that is so meaningful that the ripple effects impact you and whoever is is affected by what it is that you create or produce for a long, long time. So the fact that the nodes change the same day as a new moon, new beginnings in Cancer, which is the sign of the home, of nurturing, of sensitivity, of taking care of others, of being the mother, father, like mother, father, God. Cancer really plays a big role now because we are moving from the opposite sign of Capricorn where Pluto is currently and I'll get to Pluto in a moment that's actually the fourth cardinal sign that we didn't talk about we're moving into a more caring loving understanding experience so the lunar nodes move mostly in retrograde motion which means they go around the zodiac the opposite way as the planets and the moon and the sun so they are entering the final 29th degree of Libra and Aries, moving from Taurus into Aries and from Scorpio into Libra. So they are moving to 29 degrees Aries for the North Node, 29 degrees Libra for the South Node, and they will be at that degree number at the same time that Pluto is currently at 29 degrees in Capricorn. Now Capricorn is opposite Cancer, And the new moon on the 17th of July is at 24 degrees Cancer. So there's an opposition created between Pluto and the new moon already. And then these nodes are moving to the other two cardinal signs, creating this grand square, which is incredibly activating and all about initiating new projects a lot of forward momentum and a lot of tension in order to create that forward momentum. So you're going to be coming to this place where there is a need for change, a need for evolution, for bettering circumstances. And you'll feel like you've come as far as you can in a certain part of your life, in your journey, and you're now facing a choice. And 
that is the beginning of the new season moment. So we also have 29 degrees being the final degree of those signs. And 29 is considered a critical degree in astrology, which means it has more intensity. So we are going to literally feel the intensity of that number of something's ending. It's the final degree while something's beginning the four signs that start the four seasons. It's really everything wrapped into one. And then also because the Cancer New Moon is at 24 degrees on July 17th, 24 reduces to six. 24 represents the 24 hours of the day. Six represents love, compassion, nurturing, just like Cancer does. So there is an incredible connection to both love, also wealth. Wealth is epitomizing the number six, 24 and six. And then Pluto is also connected to the kind of leadership that turns into something that's very lucrative. Remember that Pluto rules Scorpio. Scorpio is the natural ruler of the eighth house in astrology for all of those who, who know about the houses and the natural ruling signs. And the eighth house is connected to financial flow, just like the second house. So there is a real sense of, okay, well, what topics are we looking at? Well, we're looking at financial flow, wealth, abundance, home and family, love, and also with Aries and Libra, intimate relationships. The me and the you coming together, Aries and Libra. Now the 17th of July, when everything kicks off, is a Monday. And Monday stands for the moon. So it's a moon day. The moon rules Cancer. This is a new moon in Cancer. These are the lunar nodes, moon. And so this is a really big moon event, obviously, on all levels. Then we have not only the immortality number 17, but the whole date for 7, 17, 2023 adds up to 22. And 22 is what I call the architect of peace number. So it is a number of serenity, diplomacy, of listening in order to create balance, of course, inner peace. And so between the 17 and the 22, we have confidence and serenity, leadership and compassion. These are all infused in this powerful moment where the lunar nodes change signs during the Cancer New Moon. Now, one more thing about the 29 degrees. 29 in numerology, two plus nine equals 11. So it does open the 1111 portal. In fact, it's a triple 11 portal because we've got Pluto and the two nodes, North Node and South Node, all at 29 degrees at the same time for many days until July 28th. So it's a long time. And so that triple 11 portal is going to bring a lot of inspiration, creativity, a sense of gosh, I want to try something new. I want to go and explore this. So you're going to have a real sense of letting go, Pluto purges, and starting new beginnings. And 11 also, that portal of the present moment also reminds us that we are all one, one, double one. We come together. So when you put the hands together in prayer, it is the 11 coming together in that special moment, that present moment awareness, where we're connected with source, we become one. It's a very, very beautiful code. Now, Venus plays a role as well. Venus on July 22nd, and there's that number 22 again, Architect of Peace, stations retrograde. And I've already created a star code podcast about the Venus retrograde, which you can watch on my website, tanyagabriel.com. But the reason I'm mentioning Venus stationing retrograde, she begins her retrograde at 28 degrees in Leo. And so Venus at the moment that the nodes move into their new sign, will be trying to the North Node, which is our future. The North Node is really the main node because it's where we're heading. Whether it is in your personal astrology chart, you find the North Node, whatever house it's in, 
you know that is the, going to be the focus of your life is in the house, whatever the house describes and whatever aspects your north node makes to other angles or other planets in your chart. For us collectively, the north node will now be in Aries. Aries is about fresh starts. It can be aggressive, yes, but it can also be very confident, fired up, ready to go and ready to try new things and let go of the past. So when Venus is stationing, meaning slowing down completely and staying on a degree for quite a while, in this case, 28 degrees Leo, and is creating a trine in the fire signs to the North Node, it is firing you up. And in this case, the Leo energy is deeply passionate, enthusiastic, creative, fun, definitely leading and just filled with love. Leo governs the heart physiologically in astrology. So Venus plays a role as well because Venus will be at this degree for a couple weeks or so, definitely uh, beyond the normal one or two days on a degree. So what we then get message wise from this beautiful trine from Venus to the North Node is we want to look whether we feel content, whether we have gratitude for the little things in life, like hiking in nature, eating ice cream, hugging a child good night or your lover good night, uh, hearing the birds sing in the morning or evening, right? It's the contentment and the thankfulness that fills you with that sense of being a human being and just savoring life on this beautiful planet and being so grateful for having time on this planet and being in a place of wonder. You know, Leo, where Venus is creating its whole retrograde, will be in Leo, is also the sign of children and wonder. The fifth house in astrology governs children. So allow wonder to fill your heart with stars, with galaxies, everything that you can imagine as a child. Imagine yourself being young and wondering about life and where do flowers come from? Just honoring the divine, which is most beautifully represented by nature and by music. So honor those rhythms of music, of the natural cycles of nature, and respect everyone else's freedom of expression, because Leo rules expression as well. And start by looking at your own life. What are you grateful for? Do this every day, do this every morning, every evening. What are you grateful for? When you feel down, take a moment in the day to find something that you're grateful for. And it could have been an experience you just had or a remembrance of something or someone who enhanced your life. Really what it is, is that when you give gratitude, it returns to you, right? It truly returns to you and it returns you to source. And it does this time and time again. So Venus and Leo, that whole retrograde beginning while the North Node is trying to Venus is really telling you, you know, yes, you're moving forward and but you will move forward in the most magnificent way when you make this your best day. You make this the day that is like your last day on Earth. Live it fully. Make your day matter. Feel happy. Feel grateful. And that will take you to a place where you tune into who you really are, right? You're peaceful, you're loving, you're naturally joyful, you're naturally compassionate and kind and nurturing. You naturally feel your heart flutter when you see a butterfly, a rose, a child playing, a cat, a dog, kittens. There's something that happens to you and it's, it's truly what the awakening is. It's the connection to you and source. It is truly the return to Mother, Father, God. 
So this change of nodes during the Cancer new moon while Venus stations retrograde and the sun and moon opposite Pluto, letting go of the past, welcoming the new, the energy is quite potent. It is really time to take your power back and not relinquish it and give it away. And to help you with this, I do have a free masterclass that focuses on your stars, how to master them, how to discover the truth of taking your power back. And you can watch it all at spiritualmasteryclass.com. Again, it's free and you'll learn about the secrets to spiritual mastery and the meaning of your rising sign, the incredible power of your natal sun and natal moon, the profound impact that they have on living a really abundant, happy, peaceful life. And also the difference between individuality and uniqueness and understanding the etymology of those two words. It's very important right now. There's so much we cover and it's really fun and it's free and you can watch it at spiritualmasteryclass.com. So enjoy that free masterclass. Have a beautiful week. I look forward to seeing you next week and enjoy this amazing shift in play now. Lots of love.